Well, we got Carter 5 and Little Wayne delivered. I can't say it's better than Carter 3. Carter 3 is like the best, top of the top. It's equal to Carter 4 to me. Carter 4 had more like um, singles, it seems like, but Carter 5 seems more personal. I, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I was skeptical a little bit because you never know. You know, Wayne has not been you know, in the spotlight per se because of all of his drama going on with Cash Money and everything. But now that he's free of that, it seems, you know, we knew he was recording. He was putting out mixtapes and everything. But, you know, Lil Wayne is one of those artists that stays removed from everything that's going on. You know, he couldn't tell you the latest, hottest mumble rapper that's out. And he said this in interviews, you know. He says he just stays in tunnel vision. He doesn't watch everything that's going on. Um... That's probably what makes him the great artist right now because he's not influenced by anything that's going on. I noticed that Drake is not on Carter Five, okay? And I noticed that he posted that when everybody else in Young Money posted the album during the day on his birthday, he posted it hours later. And then I noticed on Scorpion, there's no Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne and Drake haven't been as, you know, working together as much. For the past three or four years, of course the love is still there. I mean, Little Wayne brought him in the game, but let's look into this. This is George Tad with JT News. Hit that bell, hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and if you want to run out to the channel, join Time Media at gmail.com. I read all the comments. So that we got, you know, I'm not saying like there's a beef going on here. I just think it's different. Like you see, Nikki and Wayne, they stay closely knit. Uh, Nikki really praises Wayne for bringing her in the game, you know, and he did, you know, and he did the same thing for Drake, but Drake seems like he's just trying to go off on his own now and not have that stigma of he's Little Wayne's shot, you know, he's, you know, I, I obviously we know he's got beyond that, but I think he's making a an effort to not be on Wayne's album, Wayne to be on his album. And that's very weird to me. Very spooky, and it's it's telling of what's going to happen in the future. I mean, Drake's going to continue to be Drake. Wayne's going to continue to be Wayne. Nikki's going to continue being Nikki. But I just think something funny is going on there. And, you know, I'm not saying that they're beefing. Again, you know, I know some fans get, you don't know what you're talking about. No, trust me, you got to see the signs coming that something's different you know it's very uh if you guys don't think it's weird i don't i don't know what to say i mean you know i i'm sure drake will be on drake, wayne has a way of now say with carter four he had the deluxe edition a few months later possibly drake will be on the deluxe edition we'll be we'll, i'll be interested to see that and i think that's but i think more so post malone will be on the deluxe edition because there is a confirmed track with little wayne and post malone anyways just talking shit. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it's Jordan with JT News. Let me know what you guys think below.